Hi students, Miss Marta here. Today we're going to do some guided practice on greatest common factor and least common multiple word problems. So um, I recommend that you pause the video just before I answer the question and try to solve the problem on your own and then unpause and check your answer with mine. All right. Remember, you are trying to first differentiate between what type of problem it is and then provide the correct answer. OK, so let's begin. Raphael wants to buy the same number of gift bags and bows. Gift bags are sold in packs of six. Bows are sold in packs of nine. What is the least number of gift bags and bows Raphael can buy? I immediately know that this is a least common multiple problem because we are talking about sets of six and nine. So those are multiples. Those packs would be in multiples of six and nine. And also because they're telling us the word least in the least number. So the LCM of the LCM of six and nine. All right, so um, six equals two times three and nine equals three times three with a shared factor of nine. I'm sorry, a shared factor of three. So the least common multiple is, um, so LCM is two times three times three, where this is my six and this is my nine. Okay, so two times three is six, six times three is 18. So we're looking at 18. So we're looking at 18 gift bags, gift bags and bows. Now I need to remind you at this point that what I always tell my students in class is if you are given words, meaning a word problem, if you are given words, you need to give words back, meaning units, whatever the unit is. In this case, it's the number of gift bags and bows, so give the units back. Don't just say, don't just end it with LCM equals 18, okay? All right, Brian has a math quiz every six days and a science quiz every four days. On February 15th, he had both tests. When will we have both tests on the same day again? Go ahead and pause and try to solve it on your own. All right, I can tell right now it's an LCM problem because having a math quiz every six days is an event. Uh, a science quiz every four days in a, is an event. The fact that I have the word days is a unit of time. And not only that, they're telling me that on February 15th, he had both tests at the same time, and they wanna know when he'll have the same test again. So now this is a little slight difference in, in the regular type of question. They're not asking you the number of days, they're asking you exactly what day will it be. All right, so first let's find the LCM, the LCM, LCM of four and six. Okay, so, um, so four is two times two and six is two times three. Um, so that means the LCM is gonna have all the factors sharing that this two only once. So we're looking at two times two times three. This is my four, this is my six, okay? Two times two times three is 12. So I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna, so it's, it is 12 days, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our February 15th, right? We're gonna take our February 15th and we are gonna add 12 days to that. So that means we are gonna, he's going to, Brian's gonna have both quizzes again on February 27th, okay? Now, a lot of this work I could, uh, even finding how many days, the least common multiple, 12, a lot of this I could have done mentally in my head, but it's important to show your thinking, show your thinking, okay? All right, moving on, next question. Okay, here I have a question and it's broken up into two parts, but the second part got cut off, but we're gonna um, we're gonna answer both anyways. Um, 
A dentist is making packages of toothbrushes and toothpaste for his patients. He has 12 toothbrushes and 18 tubes of toothpaste. Each package will have the same number of toothbrushes and the same number of tubes of toothpaste. What is the greatest number of packages that the dentist can make using all of the toothbrushes and tubes of toothpaste? Wow, that is very heavily worded. All right, question B is going to be, which isn't here. Question B is um, how many tubes of toothpaste and how many toothbrushes are in each package? All right, so, um, so we're going to answer for that. I know that it is a greatest uh greatest common factor problem because of the word greatest number of packages. So remember number of packages, packages is my unit. Um, we're looking for the, the GCF. Notice here they're saying that each package will have the same number of toothbrushes and toothpaste. So equal, there's again, there each package is going to be identical or equal. So we're looking for the GCF of 12 and 18. Okay. So let's begin. So 12, I know 12 is two times six. And okay, even if I don't have to do all of the prime factorization, I can go even and say 18 is three times six. I can already see right here that my six is my GCF, okay? So that lets me know that we have six packages. So we have six packages. So there are six packages, all right? Now, question B, which is how many, how many toothbrushes and tubes of toothpaste will each package have? All right, so we have to look at the remainder factors. So right here, the remainder factor is two and three. So for the toothbrushes, which is 12, that means each package has two toothbrushes and what is it? Three tubes of tooth paste. All right. All right, moving on to the next question. Hopefully you're able to do all of them. All right. Pizza is served in the school cafeteria every fourth school day. Hooray. What a great event. Pizza every fourth school day. That's an event. Tacos are served every third school day. Okay. So um, again, we have units of time day. We have multiples because they're telling us it's every third and every fourth. All right. Um, so this is the LCM of three and four. I'll just put a period there. Now, prime factorization is really not even needed in this problem. For one, three is prime. There's nothing to break, break down. And um, because it's prime, it doesn't have any other factors. Therefore, we are going to use all of the factors. LCM means that we're gonna end up using all of the factors. So that means we are multiplying three with four, which equals 12. So the question is, in how many school days will pizza and tacos be served on the same day again? In 12 days. In 12 days. Now, if the question uh, were like that last one were to give you a date on the calendar or a day of the week, you would have to count um, or add to get to that date and answer the question. But this one was fairly simple. It was just number of days. Okay, I believe we have just two more problems. Sally is arranging her books on a shelf. She has 16 adventure books, 32 mysteries, and 12 biographies. She wants each shelf to have the same number of each type of book. Okay, that lets us know each shelf is equal. 
They have the same type of each book. What is the greatest number of shelves that Sally will use if she puts all the books on the shelves and how many of each type of book will be on each shelf? Okay, so we are finding the greatest common factor, the GCF of 16, 32, and 12. All right, well, 16 is two times two times two times two. All right, two times two is four. Two times two is four times two is eight times two is 16. All right, now 32 is two times 16. So basically it's everything I have right here times two. So two times two times two times two and times one more two. 12, I know has a three in there. So two times two times three. So two times six and six is two times three. Um, the greatest common factor is that. So the greatest common factor, the GCF equals four. So that means we have four shelves, okay? But they wanna know how many of each type of book will be in each shelf. So we're gonna use the remainder factors right here, the remainder factors right here to tell us how many of each book. So um, there were 16 adventure books. So that means we have, and I'm going to write here, each shelf has, um, I have here two times two, that's four, four adventure books. Two times two times two is eight, and that is mysteries. And three. And three, I all wrote these. Right. So that is the entire problem with all that information. Answer the question. All right, last question. Here we go. Every ninth person in line at a movie theater gets free popcorn. Every sixth person gets free apple juice. Shani says that the 36 customer will be the first customer to get both free popcorn and free apple juice. Is she right? If not, describe her mistake. Okay, now I can use prime factorization to answer this question because it will definitely give me the answer. Um, I know it's a least common multiple problem because we're talking about every ninth person and every sixth person. Um, and I can do the prime factorization and find my answer, find my least common multiple, um, my least common multiple. Um, but I want to get a clearer picture because I want to be able to understand Shawnee's mistake. And I know she's wrong already, but I want to be able to understand it. So to do that, I'm going to go and do it the long way and do um, the multiples of nine and six. So let's begin. Multiples of nine, we have nine, 18, uh, three times 27, four times 36, uh, 45, 54, um, 63, 72, oops, I'm not using any commas, 81. I'm just going to stop right there. Into infinity, right? Infinity is not going to be good. Okay, let's do every six person. So we're doing six. Six, we have 12, we have 18, 24. 30, 36, 42, oops, 48, um, 54, 60, 
66, 72, and that also takes me into infinity, dot, 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 into infinity. Very hard to loop that infinity sign. All right. Um, now let's, these are the multiples of nine and six. Let's circle what is common. What is common is 18. And clearly that is the least common multiple. That is the first customer that will get both um, free popcorn and free apple juice. But let's list, uh, let's circle everything we got here. We got 36. That's what Shawnee says. 54, 72. And of course there is going to be an endless number of common multiples for nine and six. All of these common multiples, these customers, they will, the ones that are circled and the ones that are circled into infinity, those will all get free apple juice and free popcorn, okay? They will all get free apple juice and free popcorn because they're on both, they're on both lists of multiples, okay? Shawnee's mistake is that she is correct. The 36 customer will be will be getting free popcorn and free apple juice, but she's not right in that in that that person is the first one. So it's good to see how see this is the reason why I wanted to get through all this because it gives me a better understanding of what Shawnee's mistake is. She might have done this work and have and she might have used this method and had um forgotten to circle here 18. And so she might have ended up recognizing 36 as being the first one. All right. She might've done 36 and seven, maybe missed 54 and just done every 36. So that could have been a reason for her mistake. I don't want to speculate, but I know at least I can recognize her mistake. Okay. So let's, this is, this is a, a type of question where we have to explain someone's mistake and explain the reasoning. So take your time with it. Um, first thing I'm going to say is, is she right or wrong? She is a Shani. Shani is wrong. Shani is wrong. And I can explain that although, oops, all L before T, although the 36th customer will get free juice and popcorn, okay? That customer is not the first. The 18th customer is the first. To get both items, I can just say items, items for free. All right, it's a very clear answer. I'm explaining that although she recognizes that the 36th customer does get free popcorn and juice, she's just wrong in that in in that person being the first one. Um, and I give the correct answer that the 18th customer is the first first one to get both items for free. So sometimes when you get a question like this. You might have to kind of draft your work a bit, and that's fine. On your scratch piece of paper, I would suggest draft your answer and then edit as you need to when you complete a test with a long question like this, a question that ex expects you to explain. All right, so that is it for today. I hope you have a better understanding of least common multiple and greatest common factor problems. Um, I recommend that you continue practicing until you test your quiz. Um, so please, I will catch you for the next video. And until then, please uh, like and subscribe to my page, to my videos. I really appreciate it. All right.